Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Mentz, and in this video I want to talk about three accessories that I purchased for the Sony 200-600 lens. And if you've followed my Instagram or you saw my previous video, you know that I recently switched to the A7R4 along with this 200-600 lens. And I've really come to appreciate its mobility along with the image quality from the sensor of this camera. Um, but there's three accessories I want to talk about because they've made life a lot easier with this setup. So let's get started. All right, so the first product I wanna talk about is this lens coat lens cover. And I've already done a full review of it before with a Canon lens I used to own. So if you wanna see all the upsides and the downsides to having one for your lens, you can check that video. Um, here specifically, I wanna talk about the zoom ring. Uh, it's probably the biggest downside for this lens is the fact that you can't lock the zoom at 600 and you can't even lock it at 200. So um, what this lens cover does, for me at least, is if you overlap these two pieces, these are two separate pieces here, if you uh, overlap them, it creates a lot more tension in this ring. And um, another thing that's uh, it's a benefit to some and uh, a downside to me maybe, is that there's not a lot of throw on this zoom. So it goes from 200 to 600 just with barely a turn. And from 500 to 600 especially, it's like a quarter of an inch turn. So you barely nudge it and you're already at 500. And so I kind of had a lot of problems with uh, accidentally moving the, the lens a little bit to the side and I'm just, hey, now you're at 500 and you don't even know it. So um, I was talking about this problem to a lot of people when I first used this lens. And I was like, I'm gonna invent some way to uh, lock this thing or add a lot more tension to it. And it's gonna be like a rubber band idea and it's gonna be perfect. And um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be a millionaire anymore because uh, this product already takes care of the same thing. But uh, yeah, just overlap these two pieces and you're gonna add a lot more tension to this ring, which is perfect. Um, I actually had to adapt my shooting style a little bit when I first owned this lens or when I first used this lens. Um, I would have to uh, kind of always put a little bit of tension, um, making sure I was at 600. And uh, now that there's kind of this uh, safety net, I don't have to awkwardly hold the lens with like a little bit of tension at the end. Um, another thing I'll say is that the, the lens coat does come with this piece here for the, the focus ring. I just found it was kind of the opposite problem where it was adding too much tension. Um, without even overlapping, it would kind of rub against these other pieces next to it and it would add too much tension. And I like to manual focus when there's like a bird inside a bush or behind some foliage. So um, having this loose all the time is a big benefit to me. I should also mention that uh, this isn't sponsored in any way. So I paid full price for the three products that we're talking about here. So I think this is a hundred dollars normally for the lens coat. Um, it was on sale, like 20% off. So I bought it for 80 bucks. It was kind of surprising since it's a new lens and a new product from Lenscoat. But uh, same with the other two, full price. And uh, let's move on to those now. All right, next up is gonna be this Kirk replacement tripod foot. And what this does is it's gonna totally replace the mostly useless one that comes with the lens. And by that I mean it has a built-in Arca Swiss standard to it. So it's gonna be able to attach directly to your tripod heads. And it uses the same exact way to attach with this Kirk release system. So with this lens, um, you don't need any tools. You just unscrew this knob and it'll pop right out like that. And same thing with this one. Um, it just clicks right in, screws into place. Now it's attached. The reason I went with Kirk is because they're kind of middle of the road price range wise. This one costs $90 and it's still a bit much for uh, having to replace the original foot and Sony should honestly just take care of it uh, from the get go but they don't, and so um, $90, really right stuff has one, it's $130, it's probably the same exact quality as the Kirk. And then Wimberly also has one slightly cheaper at $80, but from what I can tell, it requires tools to attach it and remove it. No one wants to carry tools in the field, so it's kind of a no-go in my opinion. Um, yeah, so on to the next one. All right, so the last stop is gonna be the Black Rapids Sports Strap. And uh, you might actually already own one of these, but I'm a newcomer to the Black Rapids. And, uh, but I'm a believer now after using it for the past few weeks. Um, before this, I would just handhold my old Canon 500 with the, the camera attached. And that worked out because it was such a heavy setup anyways that I didn't really want to trust it to 
a Black Rapid. I mean, I knew of their existence, but it just uh, seemed kind of risky to me. Uh, with this, I feel much safer because it's way lighter. And so how I do this is I just attach the, uh, the anchoring point directly to the lens. So I move the, the tripod foot from the lens first, and then this just screws right in. You want it nice and tight. And then you take the carabiner and that pops right in and it's got this locking piece to it so you can't open it accidentally. It's got like a second layer of protection with that clip. And then you're good to go. And uh, I will say that uh, at first I didn't realize that the lens should, or the camera should be upside down when it's uh, at your side. So um, originally I had it like this and I even had it like this way. And I was like at my side and I was like so confused as to like how you can quickly bring it up uh, to your side to start shooting and it like nothing about it seemed quick and I didn't make any sense until I realized that the camera should be forward and it should be upside down and that way when you're ready to go you just like carry it around like this and you're ready to go you just like swing it up and you're good to sh start shooting. Thank you so much for watching. If you own the 200-600 already or you're thinking about buying one hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button, and I hope you subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.